Hello guys, MT here. Today I'm doing a review of Aiken H6S action camera. It's a 4K camera with electronic image stabilization. This is the camera and all the accessories I got with this camera. It costs like uh, 70 bucks on uh, AliExpress. And this is the camera. On the front side of the camera there are power slash mode button and a small screen. On the left side of the camera there are HDMI and the USB connectors and memory card slot. On the bottom side of the camera there is a battery. On the back side of the camera there is a screen, the main screen. On the top of the camera there are shot button and uh, speaker. On the right side of the camera there is a Wi-Fi button and a microphone. And this is a standard case for this camera. And uh, right now I'm going to place a camera in the case. This is uh, the camera in the case. You still have access to the screens and to the buttons. And now you can connect the uh, camera to different accessories, for example this tripod that can also be used as a handle. This is the camera directly connected uh, to the tripod. And I don't like to connect camera directly to the tripod. Instead, I instead of that I use uh, adapters and uh, pivots. So this way I can uh, adjust angles. Uh, this is uh, the waterproof case. Camera itself is not waterproof. But inside of this uh, case, it should be waterproof up to the up to thirty meters. And there are two quick buckles. I'm trying to buckle them, but. Obviously, I need uh, to use both of my hands to do that, and I'm holding my camera with one of my hands, so... Those are two sticker mounts. One is uh, curved, and second one is flat. You can use them to mount the camera to your helmet or your windshield the dashboard. Uh, this is a, a mount for the bars, any kind of bars, for example, handlebars. This is the remote control, there are two buttons. The red one is uh, to take a picture and the gray one is to start and stop video recording and there is a strap for the, for the remote. Here are some quick ties to secure your camera. And this is the manual, a quick manual, with some basic information about camera, how to use it, some information about accessories, and how to download and install the app from the store. Basically, you can connect this camera to the smartphone and control it with your smartphone. Now, let me show you how this camera works. 
Uh, on the front side, there is a mode button. When you press that button, you can switch between photos and videos and go to the menu. Navigate through the menu with the same button. When you want to select the option, uh, you use uh, top, the top button. And here we have uh, settings for the video. There is 4K video with no electronic stabilization, 30 frames per second, 4K 25 frames per second with electronic image stabilization, 2.7K 30 frames per second, 1080 or full HD, full HD yeah, with 60 or 30 frames per second. And the side button you use uh, to go back. Photo, uh, photo resolution. You can choose between 14, 12 megapixels, 8 megapixels, 5 megapixels. So, the front uh, button is uh, to navigate through the menu. The top button is the button to select that option in the menu and the side button is uh, to go back here are some settings timestamp exposure burst mode time lapse photo time lapse video resolution interval power power frequency language remote control you can enable or disable your remote control data time sound screen saver power saver format here you can format your sd card be careful because you can erase everything on your uh, memory card then there is a reset button let's go back now we can see recording, electronic image stabilization 2.7K, 30 frames per second, and photo settings. Here we can go to video, select that option and see the recorded video, but I don't have any recorded video on the camera, so. And on the front side, on the small panel uh, screen, uh, you can see basic information it's like here, photo 14 megapixels, zero taken and there is a 9999 left in the me uh, memory. Now I'm going to the menu here. I now can record video 2.7K, 30 frames per second with electronic image stabilization. I have the same information here on the back side. And the battery indicator, of course. And now I'm turning off camera. And guys, before I show you some sample videos, let me stop here for a moment because I want to explain you something about video quality. And higher video quality requires much more memory. And if you want to edit uh, those videos recorded in higher quality, you need a stronger computer with a more expensive processor with much more RAM memory and if you have slower internet it will take forever to upload those videos or to send them online or whatever you want to do with them so basically you need to find a balance between higher and uh, lower video quality for me 1080 is acceptable so i want to record my videos in full full hd
but videos recorded in uh, 1080 with this camera i wasn't happy with the result so i recorded the same video in 2.7k video resolution and then on my computer i uh, converted those videos to 1080 and the results were much much better and uh, in a moment i will let you watch those videos and you will see the difference and also i recorded the sound so you will see the quality of the sound recording of this camera and i want to tell you that uh, i'm planning to install this camera on my helmet and start motovlogging so so stay tuned and uh, watch my future videos because you will see the quality of the video recording uh, from the my helmet and that is that is going to be some kind of motovlog or something like that If you liked this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.